Hello, I'm Sean Yo, and welcome back to Four Together. Thank you so much for listening. On this podcast, I'm reading the 2019 platform of the Green Party of Canada, and I'm sharing it as nine easy to listen to episodes. I really hope this podcast makes learning about our platform simple and easy. Our platform is a clear vision for Canada and full of so many great ideas that I just can't wait to share. I know not everyone likes reading long documents and not everyone can even find the time to read something this long. And that is why I'm doing this. We're also committed to being inclusive in how we share our platform and we want to make our platform accessible to as many Canadians as possible. The idea of this podcast is to give you an audiobook of the Green Party platform, so you can learn what the Green Party is all about. And you can do it at your convenience, while you're on your way to work, or out for a run, or whatever you love to do while you listen to podcasts. Getting the platform yourself is as easy as going to greenparty.ca slash platform. And to find out who your local Green Party candidate is, go to greenparty.ca slash candidates and just put in your postal code. It'll show you exactly who your local candidate is. However you're listening, welcome, and we'd love to hear from you. So please email us at platformpodcast2019 at gmail.com. If you have any platform questions or feedback, we really want to hear from you. We'll read everything that you send us and we'll do our best to get back to you as well. We're hoping to be able to share some of the questions and feedback as well. So if you'd prefer we don't share your comments, please mention that in your message. All right, now let's get started with episode eight. In this episode, we're going to cover the green vision for advancing the just society. Advancing the just society. In a just society, everyone participates freely and benefits fairly from our shared public goods without prejudice or discrimination. While we have made great strides towards this goal, past gains cannot be taken for granted and much remains to be done. Social justice is one of the six fundamental pillars of the Green Movement, and that's why the Green Party believes it is vital to place equity at the center of policymaking. Advancing Gender Equality This part of the platform is labeled with the sustainable development goal of gender equality. Gender-based violence, GBV, is violence committed or threatened against someone based on their gender identity gender expression, or perceived gender. In Canada, GBV disproportionately affects women, girls, and gender-diverse people. Statistics compiled by the Victim Justice Network and the Canadian Women's Foundation show that an estimated 362,000 children witness or experience family violence each year. Each day, over 3,000 women, with their children, use an emergency shelter to escape domestic violence, while about 200 women and their children are turned away because the shelters are full. Every six days, on average, a woman in Canada is killed by her intimate partner. Domestic violence accounts for about 12% of all violent crimes, and since fewer than a quarter of all incidents are reported to the police, the real number is much higher. The Department of Justice says that costs associated with the aftermath of spousal violence, emergency room visits, funerals, future costs such as loss of income, and intangible costs such as pain and suffering total $7.4 billion annually. This is unacceptable. A green government will, in collaboration with women's and Indigenous organizations, develop a comprehensive Canada-wide plan of action with a timetable and dedicated funding to eliminate violence against women, girls, and gender-diverse people. Implement all the recommendations of the inquiry on missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. 
increase access to shelters by investing $40 million over four years in the Shelter Enhancement Program, providing more than 2,100 new and renovated spaces in first-stage shelters and hundreds of spaces in transition houses. Protecting Sex Workers the Green Party supports labor rights for sex workers to ensure that they are able to control their working conditions, conduct business in a safe and healthy environment, and have recourse to legal remedies when those conditions are not provided. For those who turn to sex work as their only economic option, our policy of establishing a guaranteed livable income could provide an economic alternative. A Green Government will Reform sex work laws in Canada with a clear focus on harm reduction, given the dangers that sex trade workers face. By making the industry legal and public, it will be easier for those who are being trafficked to be found and saved. Increase funding to bolster investigations and convictions in human trafficking cases. Increase funding of community organizations providing services to those driven to sex work by economic deprivation. Advancing LGBTQI2 plus rights. This part of the policy is labeled with the sustainable development goal of gender equality. Quote, politics is just one piece of the puzzle of how change happens, but it is a crucial piece, end quote. Andrew Reynolds. There has been considerable progress in the ongoing campaign for LGBTQI2 plus, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, intersex, two-spirit, plus. Equality in Canada with significant and rapid changes to legislation on same-sex benefits and pensions and prohibitions against harassment and discrimination. But there is still a lot to do. The Green Party called for the legalization of same-sex marriage in the 1980s, the first political party to do so. Greens believe that consensual sexual freedom is a fundamental human right and that acceptance and celebration of LGBTQI2 plus people and identities are essential for genuine social justice and equity. We affirm that gender identity is each person's individual experience of gender, that everyone has the right to define and freely express their gender, and that intersex people have the right to live with complete bodily autonomy. We affirm that all young people deserve access to safe and comprehensive sex education based on a thorough understanding of diverse sexualities, diverse genders, intersex biology, and informed consent. A green government will repeal all federal laws and policies that are discriminatory on the grounds of sexuality, including Section 159 of the Criminal Code, and that refer to intersex reality as a defect, aberration, or by any other derogatory term. Establish a funding program within Health Canada to support community-based organizations offering targeted LGBTQI2 plus youth's mental health and well-being programs, including suicide prevention, peer support, coming out, and counseling. Fund community-driven education and awareness programs that lead to a greater understanding of intersex realities and the diversity of sexualities and gender identities, and referral programs to direct for trans, non-binary, and two-spirit people to appropriate services. End the discriminatory blood ban. Ban and condemn the practice of medically unnecessary surgeries on intersex children ban and condemn the practice of conversion therapy in all its forms. Ensure access to comprehensive sexual health care and gender-affirming health care, including hormone treatments and blockers and gender confirmation surgeries. Ensure that trans, non-binary, and two-spirit people, without undertaking surgeries, are able to alter their sex designation on all federally issued official documents consistent with their gender identity. Work with social services, community supports, emergency shelters, and other frontline organizations to ensure that all LGBTQI2 plus young people are cared for and protected. Ensure that the national census is designed to reflect the diversity of sex and gender and ask appropriate questions to ensure adequate, safe, and effective data collection. Require accessible facilities in all federal buildings, including gender-neutral washrooms, 
changing facilities, etc., while also reaffirming trans, non-binary, and two-spirit people's right to use whichever facilities with which they identify. Protecting Minority Language Rights This is the 50th anniversary of the Official Languages Act. The principles laid out in this landmark legislation were the basis for Article 16.1 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, which recognizes the equality of status, rights, and privileges for Canada's French and English linguistic communities. Respect for and protection of the Charter and all its values are non-negotiable. A Green Party will commit to defending Canada's two official languages in our communities and across our country. In the first year of the next Parliament, promote and implement a modernized Official Languages Act to protect both national languages. Ensure funding for the protection of Indigenous languages at risk at disappearing across Canada. And that's it for this episode. We went over the Green Party vision for advancing the just society. Get the platform for yourself at greenparty.ca slash platform and look up who your local Green Party candidate is at greenparty.ca slash candidates. All you have to do is put in your postal code. Thank you so much for your time. And I want to make sure you know how much we'd love to hear from you. Please email us at platformpodcast2019 at gmail.com. Whatever your platform questions or feedback, we love to hear from you. We'll read everything that you send us, and we're going to do our very best to reply as well. We're hoping to be able to share some of these questions and feedback as well. So if you'd prefer we don't share your comments, please mention that in your message. Coming up next is our final episode together, Episode 9 where we'll wrap up the Green Party platform with the last two sections, Good Governance in International Relations and Defense. I'm Sean Yeo, and thanks so much for joining us. I'll see you next episode.